What do you call a snake that's exactly 3.14 metres long? It's time for maths with Mr. Thomas. A python. Here we go with chapter 3, lesson number 4, looking at the equation of a straight line. So, we all know the equation of a straight line is, go on, Ian, tell us, y equals mx plus c. Perfect. And we already know that if the equation of a straight line is in this form, m represents the gradient, which is the steepness of the line. And c shows us the y-intercept. You are perfectly right. So, m is the gradient, c is the y-intercept. In other words, C shows us where the graph crosses the y-axis. Just remember, if you've got your x and your y-axis drawn in, so if this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis, if the graph crossed at, let's say, 5, uh, then the value of C would be plus 5. If the graph crossed at negative 2, C would be negative 2. If you are to write down the equation of a line. You need to then know or work out both the gradient and the y-intercept. That is what we're going to be doing in this lesson. However, for each of these questions, C, the y-intercept, is going to be given. And the only thing we will have to work out is M, the gradient. Dun, dun, dun. So let's look at example one. Example one, work out the equation of this funky wee line here. You've got the red line drawn in and we have two points on the line. We've got this point at 0, 3 and this point at 3, 9. In order to write down the equation of a line, we need to first of all know the gradient. So in order to get the gradient, first just write down the two points. We've got the 0, 3 and the 3, 9. We know that with 0, 3, 0 is the x-coordinate and 3 is the y-coordinate, so we've got an x and a y. And with a 3, 9, 3 is the x-coordinate and 9 is the y-coordinate. Just call this point 1, so that'll be x1 and y1. And then with the 3, 9, that's point 2, so call it x2 and y2. In order to work out the gradient of the line, Aline, the formula is... Woo! You got it! y2 take y1 over x2 take away x1. If we substitute in the numbers then, y2 take away y1 will be 9 take away 3. And x2 take away x1 will be 3 take away 0. If we work that out, we will end up with 6 over 3. 6 over 3, perfect! And don't leave it at 6 over 3 because if we have 6 and we divide it by 3, we end up with 2. Brilliant! So... We know the gradient is 2. That is the gradient of the line. Remember the equation is y equals mx plus c and we're having to work out both the gradient and the y-intercept. Except for this question here, we can see what the y-intercept is. Mahiba, what is the y-intercept? 3. Well done, and you can see that because here is where the graph crosses. Your y-axis is crossing at 3. So because of that, we know the value of c is 3. 3. Woo! Which means then, if we rewrite the equation of a straight line, all we're having to do is replace m and c, so we have y equals, well, m, the gradient, worked out to be 2, so we'd have 2x. And the y-intercept is 3, so we'd have plus 3. Dun, dun, dun! That's our answer. Woo! Example 2. Work out the equation of this straight line. As you can see, we've got this red line drawn in. And we've got the two points. We've got 0, 7 and 6, 4. Let's start off just writing down those two points. We need to work out the gradient first of all. And we can work out the gradient if we know two points because we use the formula y2 take y1 over x2 take away x1. Sometimes it helps to write out the points at the side and just label the x1, y1, x2, y2. So with this point... We've got an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, so we can write down x and y. And again, here with this point here, we've got an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. It's just alphabetical. Call one of them point 1, so I've said x1 and y1, and call the other point point 2, so we've got an x2 and a y2. Doesn't matter which way around, you'll label the points. This could also be x2 and y2, and this one could have been x1 and y1. If you end up swapping, swapping them back to front, it just means you'll end up with the negative or whatever you have, but the two negatives 
and the equation will cancel out, giving you the exact same gradient, so it makes no difference whatsoever. If you sub in these points though, you'd have y2 take away y1, so we'd have 4 take away 7 over, and then 6 take away 0. Work that out, 4 take away 7 is negative 3. Good, and 6 take away 0, 6. Brilliant. Ignoring the negative, if we have 3 over 6, that simplifies to... Good, you just divide them both by 3, so you get half. And because we've got a negative and a positive, our final answer will be a negative. So the gradient is negative 1 half. Remember the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c. We already know then the value of m, and it's the value of c that we need to know now. But remember, c is your y-intercept. It's where the line crosses your y-axis. There is the y-axis, and you can see it's crossing at this point here. It's crossing at 7. So because of that, we know the value of c is just 7. So substituting these values into our equation, we'd have y equals negative 1 half x replacing m with negative a half, and the value of c is just 7, so we'd have a plus 7, and that is the equation of that straight line. Woo! High five! <laughs> Example 3, work out the equation of this straight line. As you can see, it's once again drawn for us, and we have two points. We've got this point here, 1, 1, and we've got this point, 0, negative 4. Write down these two points, just add the sides, so 0, negative 4, and 1, 1. Call one of the points, 1, call one of them, point 2, and we've got an x value and a y value, so call this x1 and y1, because we're calling that point 1. And let's call this point 2, so there's an x value and a y value, again, it's alphabetical, so we'd have x2 and y2. To work out the gradient, we need two points, we have two points, woo, so we can use the formula y2 take y1 over x2 take away x1. Sub in the values, so y2 take away y1 will be 1 take away negative 4, and x2 take away x1 will be 1 take away 0. So 1 take away negative 4 becomes 1 add 4 over 1 take away 0. 1 add 4 is obviously 5, so that's 5 over. 1 take away 0 is 1, so that's 5 over 1. And 5 divided by 1, you know that's just 5. Well done. Uh, so we know then the gradient is 5. Remember the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c. We know the value of m now. We know m is 5. We know the gradient. It's the value of c that we need to know next. What is the value of c though? Good. Quite a few people managing this. c is just where the graph crosses your y-axis. There's our y-axis and you can see it's crossing the y-axis at negative 4. Meaning the value of c is just negative 4. So we can write y equals, replace m with 5, so it's 5x, and we're adding on negative 4. When you add a negative, though, it's the same as just taking away, so that becomes 5x take away 4. Woo! That is the equation of that straight line. Example 4, work out the equation of the straight line that passes through 0, negative 1, and 7, 3. Ah! There's no graph drawn! I know, but that doesn't matter because we're still following the same steps. We can imagine these two points drawn out on a graph, and in order to get the equation of a line, you first of all need to know the gradient. So, write down the two points. We've got an x value and a y value. For the other one, again, there's an x value and a y value. Call one of them point 1, so x1, y1. Call the other one point 2, x2 and y2. To work out the gradient, we use the formula y2 take away y1 over x2 take away x1. So y2 take away y1 will be 3 take away negative 1 over, and x2 take away x1 will be 7 take away 0. 3 take away negative 1 becomes 3 add 1, which gives us 4, and that will be over 7. Can we simplify 4 sevenths? No. No, we can't. So we leave it just as 4 sevenths. The y-intercept, this time we need to know where the graph crosses the y-axis. How on earth do we do that? Perfect. If you look at this question here, because this line goes through 0 at negative 1, we can see that the x value here is 0, meaning that if you've got your x and your y-axis here, so there's our x-axis and our y-axis, just drawn very not neatly, 
Uh, if you go through a zero, negative one, well, that's going along zero from the x, along the x axis. So we're going along zero, but we're going down negative one. So that point there will be negative one. So we went along zero and then just down one. But that's where that line is going to cross over. The line will be looking something like that. And you can see it's going through at negative one. You have to use that point because the x value there is zero. If we plotted, say, the 7, 3, well, that's not going to help us. You can't tell from this point where it goes through the y-axis, but you can use this one because it's a zero. We've gone along zero, so in other words, we're just sitting on the y-axis. So because we've got that zero, negative one, we know that c is just going to be negative one. Woo! Meaning then, y equals mx plus c is going to become, remember to place m with four-sevenths, and replace c with negative one. So again, we're adding on negative one, but when you add a negative, it's just subtract. So we'd have y equals four sevenths x take away one. You'll notice for every single one of these questions, all we're doing is replacing m with the gradient and c with the y-intercept. And for every single one of these questions, c will be given. Practice some of these, see how you get on with it. There's questions in the Lecky and Lecky Nat 5 book on page 98 and 99, just questions 3 and 4. Try some of these. Once you think you're ready, move on to the next lesson when C is not given and you have to work out the y-intercept. Try some of these first though. Good luck. Enjoy. Bye. Woo!